Hey guys, so we have some very exciting news that is happening for the game right now. Um, which we just got a message, let me see, about global release. So the game has been in soft launch so far um, in just a few countries in North America and Europe. Um, now it's going to be available pretty much everywhere, which means that like we'll get a huge influx of players. Um, but they did also say that they're finally going to open Realm 3. Right now there's only Realm 1 and Realm 2. So I think that that means that this server will also lose a lot of players. Um, you know, a lot of people kind of ran from server 1 to server 2 when it opened. So I think that that will happen again. So we have to have a careful eye um, coming up about how things on this server are going to change. Um, and you know, maybe whether some of the big alliances will get smaller. Um, you know, so based on what happened in server one, at the time, NLD, HYR, and TCK were the top alliances when Realm 2 opened. And they still are now. Um, I think after Realm 2 opened, you know, I'm not sure if TCK had already taken number one at that point or they took number one after, uh, but they definitely seem like they lost the least amount of players compared to, you know, people in NLD and HYR. Like, you'll remember early in these videos, like, Mr. Virtual was one of the first people that, like, kind of scout started scouting our newbies. He's right up here on somewhere. Yeah, Mr. Virtual was, you know, the leader of NLD. Um, originally in server two or server one he left because I assume because he wanted to be bigger um, in server one so I think that that will happen a lot here maybe TFF which is the main people that I'm worried about they might lose less just because they're already number one so the people there don't want to leave to go do something better um, if that makes sense but you know they've been causing some chaos around us so you know originally we were allied up here with two alliances so you remember there's this alliance min that just like went crazy once because i scouted one of their members and they like messaged me and said that they were gonna destroy me or whatever even though i didn't even um go through with an attack on them yeah, so like that at the time when we actually talked to each other ended up in us being allies. And then a little bit after that, you know, they were at the time they were allied with NLD, which was right next to them. I'm not sure where NLD was originally, whether it was up here or somewhere else, but... Um, yes, they, they threatened me at the time, like, oh yeah, our allies, NLD, will help us take you out, blah, 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 blah. Um, but, um, we did not really, at the time, we just kind of talked it out, and it ended up being fine. I'm actually going to scout one of these guys from in. And uh, now, so, they, basically, TFF nearby completely took NLD out. Um, and they just started attacking them constantly and telling them that like they had to join or give up basically. Um, and so NLD ended up, you know, losing a lot of their top players to TFF and then the rest kind of moved, you know, NLD has moved somewhere totally different on the map. My guess is on the other side of the black earth. I don't really want to go hunting them down since I don't want to attack them anyway. Um, but you know, I'm assuming somewhere that they went somewhere across this black earth here where TFF will have to do a lot of work to march to get to them. And then they basically, TFF, when they were done with NLD, they then turned their eyes and did the same thing to Min. So now Min is pretty much dead. Um, and we have the former leader. It was a little crazy. This is a former leader of men here, Lady Morgana. She was the one that kind of went crazy, you know, at, at me when I said, or when I said that I was just trying to scout her member. Um, and she was like, you know, we're a super active alliance. We're not going to stand for things like this and blah, 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 blah. Um, and so I was a little surprised then because also too, she was also the one that threatened me with NLD. So I was a little surprised afterwards when she kind of turned around 
and she was saying stuff on world chat like oh you know we've already we have already wiped out nld um and you know she listed some other alliances too but i like i just thought that that was crazy um because you know nld was her first ally i can understand you know being under pressure from uh tff you know i can understand why she decided to move um, I just thought that it was kind of a surprising change because she, you know, she seemed like such a kind of stubborn, confident person. I'm going to try hitting the 16 with my saved formation here. Um, but so a lot of people are a little worried in our alliance that like TFF is going to turn their eyes on us next. You know, they've been, so you know, we've had a few altercations with TFF. I think that, you know, they've mostly been pretty reasonable um you know there's a few of their members that are a little bit hot-headed but i think the rest you know want to make friends and they want to talk and then when there's a misunderstanding like they're happy to message you about it you know we've had an nap with them now for i think over a week um maybe even two weeks and they've maintained it i mean they they wouldn't lose much if they turned it against us um, other than perhaps getting uws to take revenge on them but you know they've respected it and they haven't hit us. So, you know, I, I, I'm hoping, like, if they just do decide to turn on us, they'll at least, you know, give us a gentlemanly message beforehand. Um, but now I'm wondering, too, since Realm 3 is going to open, is that going to be something that's not necessary? You know, maybe they'll want more active alliances here to stay here, and they won't really want to kind of assimilate everybody because otherwise they won't have anybody to go up against. Um, so we'll kind of see how the opening of Realm 3 changes the game, you know, literally around here. Right now we're just kind of trying to get ready and expand by merging with WoW. So, you know, WoW only has, I think, like, very few active players left, so I made a deal with their leader um, that will make room for all of their member active members who want to join. So we've already got a few that moved over. Um, the leader is waiting until we're ready. We'll stake out this land with our flags. You know, we're waiting for the moment when she is ready to take it down, all, all the buildings down, because otherwise we would have to burn the flags one by one. So we're investing in this Alliance Tech plant flags so that we have more room um, for flags to take down, because the game does limit the amount of flags that you can plant. We have some flags that, you know, I don't think actually are strategically that useful, but we planted them, like, so, for example, we have this diagonal arm of flags that we planted down here. The main purpose of flags is usually to get resources. Um, this one we planted specifically to, number one, connect with UWS. Number two, just to keep other people from expanding across us and fencing us in, um, just in case we want to expand in other directions later. We could, in theory, take some of these flags down. I'm going to leave them for now, though, because it's been a day and we're already halfway to the plant flags technology. The people from WoW have kind of been trickling in instead of coming in crazy. Um, so I think that it will be okay if we leave it until tomorrow, especially too, because we may lose a few more players. Uh, from WoW and also from ourself when now that Realm 3 is open some people may jump without telling us and leave us with more inactives um, and more space and more stuff to figure out. So we'll see um, how Realm 3 goes. I'm, I'm interested. I think it changed I think this, this server changed the landscape of Server 1 a lot. Uh, I don't play on Server 1 as much anymore but just like from what I saw in the few days after Server 2 left a lot or after Server 2 opened, a lot of the big players on Server 1 left. So I think, you know, watch FRR, watch TFF, um, K2T, UWS, watch all those big guys and kind of see, you know, what will happen before making a big decision about what our next move is or who we should be prepared to go to war with.